Hello there, it's Alana Tucky, and I'm back here to make you some more videos to help you along with this project. This is going to be for the Lining Things Up project. Alright, so what we're going to figure out is we're going to figure out how much of our airline ticket cost is due to the flight's distance. I mean, you can imagine the more you fly, distance-wise, the more expensive it's going to be, but we're going to, in this project, figure out how much more. Alright, so what we're going to do to simplify things is we're going to always look at Delta Airlines. We're always going to fly out from Detroit Metro Airport and we're going to look at the same travel dates which are right down here Saturday July 28th to Saturday August 4th we're only interested in non-stop flights okay so the first thing you're going to have to do is go to the Delta interactive flight route map which is at delta.uniscad.com which I happen to have right here and we're going to choose 15 destination cities that you would like to visit using Detroit Metro Airport as the point of origin. This page also provides the distance between um, TW, Detroit Metro, and the cities it serves. They do not need to be in the USA. As a matter of fact, try to choose a couple that aren't. So, so here's what happens when you pull up delta.nosked.com. You get this map. Now you can see the red cities. Those are the hub cities. The, they're called the connect cities for Delta. So you click on Detroit. And then you wait and there you go you can see all the different places that you can go to from Delta there's or this particular one um, this particular day there are 399 different cities I could go to or 399 different results let's put it that way they're not all different cities as you can see Albany shows up a few different times that's due to different flyers so Delta Airlines with Comair versus Delta Airlines with Pinnacle whatever now over here on the left corner notice it says non-stop flights you want to make sure that box is checked right because you want to be flying only non-stop we're only gonna look at that alright so now you want to bring up Excel now remember I have it down here in my bar but if you don't have it down there you can go to the start menu right here and click in this little field and type Excel and it should show up right there and then you click on that alright now I don't want it to cover the whole screen because then I can't see so I'm gonna use this little icon up here and make it a little bit smaller and you can play around with the window and you can fiddle with it and so on but I'm gonna give myself city and I want distance and I want cost right so we're gonna figure out all those things so the first thing you have to do is pick out 15 different cities from this list and what I like to do is I like to change it so that it's sorted by distance because they're all going to be single stop flights so I could pick something like Flint which is really short only 55 miles you can see it right there by the way if you click on the flight you can see more information right 55 miles and if you ever do that you can just use this little left arrow up here and get back all right so I'll pick you know Flint and I'll pick you know Elmira I don't even know where that is I'll pick that and so on and you want to get to the bottom and pick some big cities pick some fun cities you know pick some place you'd really want to go like I want to go to New Orleans or I want to go to Orlando that kind of thing all right so choose 15 different cities of your own making and then you want to record the distance for everyone so if I want to go to San Antonio for example if I type San Antonio in here the distance for San Antonio is 1216 right in miles and it wouldn't hurt me I suppose to actually make a note of that that it's in miles up here Oops. And I'm using that double sided arrow thing. I let my mouse kind of hover between B and C. Turns into that double sided arrow. I double click and there it goes. And it's wide enough that I can see what I've done. All right. So let me pause. I'm going to go type up 15 cities and I'll be back. Now remember, you can't pick the same 15 cities I pick. Mm -mm -mm, that's not allowed. So choose your own. All right. Once you have your 15 cities in there, however they may be, you need to go find the cost. So what you want to do is pull up a different tab. So I have a tab that has the map just in case I need to refer to that info. And then I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to say I want to go from DTW, Detroit, to, and then I just pick my first city, um, San Antonio. San Antonio, there it is. Click on that. And then I'm going to pick the dates that were picked in the project, which is for this one, Saturday, July 28th to August um, 4th. So let me go back. July 28th so I click on this little arrow here oops that's June July and then I'll pick August 4th and I'll be right back here for the next video oops well let me just do this you click find flights and then you wait for a second and there's the price boom comes up it's 471.60 so that's what you'll type over here 